Oh, you want to see some abs? Pew. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm very excited for this video. We're gonna get back into dieting. Well, not dieting, but an alternative eating lifestyle. What is this? All right. So I've always been very interested in the TB12 diet, the Tom Brady diet. Um, he's made headlines all over the place for this, what? For this, uh, for his way of eating, his lifestyle, um, Giselle also follows it. He kind of released his own program for everyday plebeians like me to use. And the one thing that really drew me to it was that it focuses on being an anti-inflammatory diet, um, especially right now with how stressed I've been, how emotionally drained I've been. I'm really trying to not only look for an eating lifestyle that makes me feel better, um, but also something that can maybe help my body when it's going through severe stress like this. The other thing that I was able to find is that it's free to get the guidelines. So I was like, your girl got a free diet, let's do it. Um, I'm gonna be doing this for 14 days. The biggest point about it is that it is gluten-free, dairy-free, free of any added sugars. Um, the only sugars you can really have are pure honey and um, coconut sugar. The one thing I do want to note is that Tom Brady is famous for saying he doesn't drink coffee, um, that he's never had a cup of coffee. Yeah, okay, Tom, okay. Um, but this diet actually does let you have caffeine. Because there are weird restrictions, I'm gonna be putting a whole list of what I can and what I cannot have. This video is sponsored by Green Chef. If you've watched a couple of my other videos, they've been a terrific sponsor, especially when I'm trying to eat a certain way. It is a USDA certified organic um, meal prep or food box company, whatever you wanna call it. And the meal plans are paleo, vegan, gluten-free, uh, pescatarian, vegetarian, keto, and omnivore. And the one that I'm really gonna be going for this um, round is gluten-free, and I'm also gonna pick a couple foods that I want to avoid. That you get to choose from a different array of lifestyles that really fit you and the way you eat. The recipes are super quick, step by step. All of the um, ingredients and all of the spices are already pre-measured, so you don't need to do anything like that. And you can also switch up your meal plan whenever you want, so you're not really stuck to one thing. So if you want $75 off, so that's $25 off three boxes, go to greenchef.us slash Candice75 and Green Chef is now a part of the HelloFresh family, so I'm very excited to be working with everyone on this. So I'm gonna show you guys what the rules are and then uh, we'll get started. Here we go. Right now I am making chickpea flour flatbread, which is just chickpea flour, water, and olive oil. And it's supposed to make a flatbread, but I've never seen this in my life. So we'll see how it goes. All right, this one was a little bit of a fail, but we're on it, we're on it. We're adapting and overcoming. This bitch is getting better. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Got my burger here, turkey burger with some plant-based cheese. I'm not 
uh, or it's soy free. And then my little chickpea patties. Then some homemade uh, baked sweet potato fries. And I think that's it. Your BB. What? And your BB. And my BB. Favorite snack so far. Just regular coconut. Tastes amazing. Okay, I just got back from... Can you not? Okay, I just got back from Whole Foods. I know, bougie. Um, <clears throat> to make kimchi gumbo. And I um, saw the movie Searching and the mom was like a great, her recipe was kimchi gumbo. And I was like, man, that sounds good. I'm gonna make it. But the other thing is that I saw these chicken chips, literally never seen these in my life. So it's basically just sliced chicken. It's weird. They look like chips, but um, yeah. And it literally, this is the weirdest thing. It t it's literally like, not to be that stereotype, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Got my ingredients right here. Ig ignore the cat food. We don't, we're not eating that. <laughs> the only thing I had to change was that it asked for okra and they were out of freaking okra. Who runs out of okra? So I'm just using kale. Pretty bummed about it, but there's nothing I could do. La bitch, I did it. Looking good. Just got some bomb pokey from the uh, office cafeteria. And it has quinoa and salad, no rice. We went with salmon, um, some seaweed salad, and some veggies, and then topped it with ginger ponzu. I lied, I topped it with ginger vinegar, sorry. <laughs> Just made this Caribbean steak rice bowl with my vegan cheese. And, um, you know, I think it, uh, okay. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, oh my God. I wanted to do a check-in video for some initial learnings here. <clears throat> so every day I basically have the same thing, but I love it, um, which is steel cut oats and two eggs, I pop them in the microwave, and then I have my oats with uh, some coconut and almonds, and it's been keeping me full. Um, I actually have noticed I have a lot more energy for my workouts. I'm really not missing gluten that much. So my stomach feels a lot better. Um, and the only thing is that like steel cut oats, I don't know if you guys have ever made them. I thought it was just oatmeal. They are so hard to make. It takes like 30 minutes to make them. So I was very lucky that my work has them in the morning and I can just buy them at the cafeteria. Um, the other thing I've been doing, a lot of salads. Um, the way these guidelines are made, you kind of naturally get a lot more vegetables in. Um, and I've been keeping regular, which is nice. But so far, so good. I mean, I thought that I would be like miserable, but I really, my body feels good. Wow, look at this. What do we have on the menu tonight? You know what, I didn't even know I was cooking the whole time. What? Pecan crusted pork chops. Mmm, my man cook for me tonight. <laughs> All right, I'm really proud of myself for this one. We've got cauliflower rice, some okra, some fresh quinoa, uh, ground turkey, and then topped with a little bit of vegan cheese. So I made my own little uh, Buddha bowl here. you from my childhood bedroom. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I made it. I made it through. I think that it is very important to say this video was way less about losing weight or looking fit and it was more about 
feeling good and trying to see if food can really affect your mental health, especially in the process of grieving. Um, before I did this video, my psychiatrist told me that it might be beneficial to lay off of um, lactose and gluten. And that's why I also wanted to do the TB12. When you're going through grief, it affects you not only mentally, but physically. I will say that these 14 days, I have had immensely better um, gastrointestinal function. <laughs> One day I did slip up. I had some ice cream because Ben and Jerry's came to work and then I had a horrific diarrhea. So <laughs> my face has slimmed down. The swelling from all the cortisol has really gone down and I think that it's partly because I was on an anti-inflammatory anti diet. I'm able to sleep better. I feel better. There are still bad days. I will tell you that. Still some really bad days. But overall, I highly, highly recommend doing something like this. I did lose a little weight in the process. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. This is dumb. I'm not complaining. I don't want to give it to Tom Brady because like he has everything, but he did a good job. Job well done. I'm, I do feel better. I will say that. You know what? Finally, in summation, I feel for people now. I have so much more respect for people with gluten allergies because it is hard to find a ton of food without gluten. The entire cafeteria at work, it's like everything has wheat in it. Like even the soups, it would be a mushroom soup and it still has wheat. I'm like, can a girl catch a break here? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I say definitely try this out. See how you feel. I think I might stick with something like this, especially during the week. Yeah. All right, well, be sure to like and subscribe guys. Thank you so, 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 so much for all the support you've been giving me. It's really great to see that you're happy to see me back. So I'll see you later. Bye.